So this morning it is about 8.30 in the morning now. I just finished my avocado toast earlier and now I'm about to load up the kids in the jogging stroller and go out for a run. I don't have a gym membership or anything. I've lost all the baby weight on my own at home. So hopefully maybe this can inspire you to do it too. I will also be doing my workout routine sometime soon, so stay tuned for that. You can hear the kids are getting crazy on me, so I'm gonna go ahead and load them up in the stroller so we can get going. Drinking water is so important, and usually when I'm really going hard with eating clean, I like to drink about three of these a day. Um, this comes in so handy just to measure how much water I'm actually um, intaking a day, so this is what I like to use. So I just came in from my run from outside and now I'm going to have these overnight oats that I prepped last night. So it's still just been sitting in the fridge in my Tupperware from last night. But all it is is some Greek yogurt, um, some instant oats. You can use regular oats or steel oats, that's just all I had. Raspberries, blackberries, some banana and chia seeds. So it's super easy to prep the night before and then you just let it sit in the fridge. Oh and then a little bit of milk. Normally I would use something like almond milk, but we didn't have any, so I used um, just low-fat milk so that the oats will soak up um, in that overnight. But it's really yummy and a good alternative if you're tired of always eating eggs for breakfast or something like that. And once I start cutting back more like calorie-wise and things like that, then I'll probably just go back to eggs. Okay guys, so it's lunchtime now and I'm getting the kids lunch prepped, but I'm getting mine ready as well. Um, it is now like 11.30 in case you're interested, but I'm doing the sprouted bread or Ezekiel bread again. You can find this in the freezer section at your grocery store, but then you just store it in the fridge and it stays good forever. Like I just bought this one and it's good through November of this year. So that's also a really great part to this too. Last night I prepped this chicken salad. It's so good. You guys have made it before and I love it. Um, I'll link all the recipes that I'm doing today down below. They're all on my Pinterest, but all that's in here, you just boil chicken, add in some plain Greek, Greek yogurt and a little bit of mayo if you want to. I do the avocado mayo and then chop up some dill, um, salt, pepper, and olive oil. That's it and just shred it all up, mix it together. So I'm going to make a sandwich out of that and then do just like a little side salad, spring mix, shredded carrots, tomatoes, and then this is a new dressing I got just to try out. Um, so there's the nutritional info. I mean, it's not like the best dressing probably, but like I said, I'm easing back into eating healthy. So I just wanna change it up. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and make that. All right, so here's my lunch plated up on a fancy paper plate for you guys. Um, but I toasted the Ezekiel bread and put on a little pickle and onion with the chicken salad and then just made myself the side salad here. And then I'll just be having a lot of water. I'm almost done with this whole container from this morning, so I need to get on that. But that's lunch. Side note you guys, that dressing was not good. I don't recommend that one. I don't think I wanna use it again. So it is now one o'clock p.m. and I just got both kids down for a nap and I'm just gonna enjoy myself some cold coffee. If y'all follow me, then you know that I have to drink cold coffee every afternoon. But to be honest, after working now earlier, I don't feel as tired as I normally do. I'm just doing this out of habit and I have another video to edit right now, so I'm gonna do that. Um, so in case you're curious, I'm actually editing the video on how I get my beachy mermaid hair waves. Um, so the, that video will be up before this one, so go check that one out. I can link it right here in case you're curious. All right, so it has been about three hours since I ate last, so I'm about ready for a little snack, and the kids are still napping, so I'm gonna go ahead and make one really quick. Okay, you guys, so instead of grabbing for chips and crackers and things like that, I am just doing some baby carrots, hummus, some sliced apple, and a little bit of peanut butter. So that's my afternoon snack. So we just got back from our local juice place and picked up some juices, and luckily the kids love these too, but they're actually so good. They're full of greens and um, blue algae and all kinds of stuff that's so good for you. So I'm we're doing this as like a little um, pre-dinner okay, snacks. We're just gonna enjoy our juice. Okay, dinner tonight is leftovers from last night, which was the slow cooker meal. And I will also link this recipe down below. It's so good. 
Um, but they're chicken lettuce wraps, and these are just butter leaf lettuce wraps that I found at the store. The kids are doing theirs in tortillas and sour cream so that they'll actually eat it. Um, but it's super easy, you just put chicken and diced tomatoes, chopped up bell pepper, onion, and then some spices. I had to add a little bit extra spices to this, um, so just FYI. And then you're supposed to make a homemade mango salsa. I also got that pre-made at the store. Super easy just to throw on top and then some uh, basmati rice. So super healthy and I like that the kids can do theirs with tortillas so that everybody's happy. But I am all about easy meals like this that you can just throw in the crock pot to cook all day. They are super easy and you can change up the ways to add more low carb option like I did here or tortillas to please the kids. All right, so that wraps up my what I eat in a day video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. And if anything, in a couple hours, I might end up having like a little sweet treat before bed. These are just 100 calorie granola bars that I really like. Um, I may end up eating that later. But anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this video and that it provides you some motivation to start cleaning up your diet and working out. And honestly, I'm glad that I did this today because it really has motivated me to do it even more. So um, let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see a fitness video from me and how I work out at home. And go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.